Hey ya, welcome back to my channel, minhas chicas. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm Portuguese too. But yes, welcome to my channel, guys. Today, I'm going to be doing Minty's nails, my good girl Minty, who also happens to be an Turk. Yeah, so I was fully nervous doing this, but we wanted to do it on top of the fact that my nail drill had died. So this is in between the time. I have now got a new Melody Susie, which I will be doing the unboxing for you guys. Sorry guys, I get major excited with things like this. <laughs> it's an upgrade, do you know what I mean? The last one was super bulk and it just, it took up too much space on the table. And um, no, so, you know, the next video will be unboxing Melody Susie and then I can be giving you guys epic nails. But this video here um, is just to prove that really, as a beginner, you don't need all the bits. Do you know what I mean? Um, we did <laughs> end up going with polygel. Let's get this right now. It just makes more sense because polygel is lighter, so it's going to file easier. And as I'm squeezing it on her nail, I can see how much I'm putting on. It's not like acrylic. You pick up a bead and you kind of just, <laughs> as a beginner, you're kind of just winging it and you're, you know, you only find out how much you seriously put on when, when it comes to filing. So yeah, we went with a really cute pink and purple butterfly marble. <laughs> Everything's going on here, okay? But yes, I just want to say you guys are freaking awesome. Okay, check this marble one more time. I know you saw it in my last video, but it was so good that she wanted it on her nails. So I was like, yes, get to do it again. And then I change up some of the techniques for the other nails. So check it out, guys. If it's taking too long, yes, feel free to just zap through it. I don't mind, but I do want you guys to see, you know, the process of how I got these nails. As it is my first um, watch me work video. I was actually so excited to just put that in the title, watch me work. But yeah, no, thank you, Minty, for trusting me. <laughs> and having faith okay more than anything for me um doing your nails i love you so much okay thank you okay so as you can see um i had already prepped her nails before recording we had sized out her tips done the filing dehydra dehydra wow that sounds like someone's name hey girl hey dehydra are you all right no um <laughs> the dehydrator and primer and then yes i did forget the base coat which is annoying i do recommend putting base after filing all of the nail and the tip as well just so the poly gel doesn't come off because i had that happen to me once and it was super annoying but yes so i then go on to this marble design for those of you amazing people who did catch my last video, the perfect pink marble with poly gel, I'm basically just doing the same technique, just blobbing three or two or three different colors on the nail and then grabbing my dotting tool and just swiveling, swiveling it around. I can't talk today. I don't know what's going on. I literally just woke up from a nap. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be doing voiceovers after I wake up from a nap. Be strong and do it before, Astrid, be strong. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm actually insane. But yes, after I have blobbed on the poly gels and then wiggled it around with my dotting tool, I then go in with my acetone or you can use base gel um, or a slip solution if your poly gel kit comes with the slip solution. This one from McCart didn't, so I go in with some acetone and it works beautifully. Um, as you can see, the acetone does get a little bit gunky, so um, I really don't care unless I'm using clear, but ideally you do want to have um, clean acetone to work with. Um, my one gets really gunky because my little heart 
um, dampen dish is just really tiny so it just gets dirty really quickly but I still use it um, until I need to change it you'll see me changing it maybe like three or four times during the video but yes onto the these two middle nails oh my gosh I actually loved the way they turn out so I done like a slanted design and um, this is the first time I've ever done something like this so yeah all I did was just blob the poly gel on make sure that I'm not um, covering the whole nail and it just it just comes out so beautiful I was so happy with that um, I do end up filing it a little bit later just to make sure that it's like a precise line hashtag precise I'm here wondering how I would have spelt that by the time the hashtag was on the screen. But yeah, no, um, at least you guys can hear me and you understand what I'm trying to say. I'm going to stop setting myself up for failure, okay? And start saying some real words out here, people. But I probably won't. <laughs> this is who I am, okay? Take it or leave it. But no, for those of you who have watched my videos that have like me in it, um, you can kind of tell how I am <laughs> okay sorry not sorry so yeah if you're good with me being a clown half the time go ahead and click that subscribe button okay because honestly how can you live your life without a little bit of silliness it just doesn't work for me okay I need a bit of silliness in my life right with a hot cup of tea and I was going to say a cigarette, but I'm quitting, guys. I'm quitting. Don't smoke. It is a terrible habit. So I'm officially going through the motion of not smoking. And it is hard, but I have my patch on and it's working very well. Yes, I am a real person. Yes, I, you know, I do have a life. And yes, it is a struggle. So... This is my warning to you. I'm gonna put a warning up on the screen. Hashtag warn. Literally, don't smoke, don't do it. If anyone offers it to you, they are the devil, okay? The devil. Don't take it. But yeah, moving on to the nails. Um, finish this marble. She actually wanted the pinky to have like a little clear section at the bottom, which I loved. But then when I went to go do the marble, I forgot to add a third color, which I think it's what I done on her pointer finger anyway. So it matched. But on the other hand, I did marble with three colors and it looked so much um, better in my opinion. But either way, they still look gorge. Hashtag gorge. But yeah, so guys, I have an obsession with thumbs. <laughs> I don't know why. Not like a weird obsession with just any natural thumb, but like when it has an extended nail, oh my gosh, like thumbs have to be looking good. So if you're following my TikTok, you will see that when I post a video, you always see me like throwing up my thumbs and I don't know why. I just always have to make my thumbs look good. They just stand out to me, kind of like the pinky. So, and the pointer finger, they, they have to look good. They have to look good. So yes, I done her thumb all in pink. And then I realized it was a little bit too thin. So I end up going um, in with some more poly gel. And then I think I did also add some more to the two pink fingers in the middle, just so it can um, not be so opaque, I think is the word, transparent. <laughs> there is like probably a teacher out there holding her head in shame like Astrid where did we go wrong <laughs> but no sorry opaque is definitely the wrong word um yeah so I don't want it to be so transparent I do want it to be opaque <laughs> um solid color basically for those in the back but yes after adding more poly gel to the thumb I move on to the two slanted fingers and what I do basically is just remove the sticky residue. Don't forget to remove the sticky residue, guys. And then I go in with a hand file um, to make sure that those lines are as sharp as possible. Um, and I, I want to say so bad, but they look so cute in the end. You have to see what I do to them, um, what I add to the clear section of those nails. But they came out so cute. I'm definitely going to be using that technique more. But yes, I did want to say, guys, that when you're working with 
anything poly gel or acrylic you want to make sure that you are cleaning the finger around the nail because once you cure it honestly it's like solid it's on there so anything that's on the skin it will stick for a while and eventually it will fall off um, give it a few minutes and then you'll be able to pick it off because we have natural oil coming out of our skin but just to avoid the extra unnecessary work just make sure that the edges of the nail are clean and you won't get this mess okay guys so as you can see i got my lint free wipe and i'm just taking the sticky layer off and i then go in with a hand file and make this look absolutely bomb um and yeah i'm just loving it as it goes like honestly filing this to a perfect line was one of my favorite moments just seeing that line really come out was just perfect um but yes guys as i said before my e-file died on me so we do go through um a bit of filing and because this video was way too long like way too long <laughs> without the editing i literally cut it down to just doing one hand but in the end you will see the results of both hands um i think it took me about two hours like <sighs> guys i need to get better at this okay i'm just taking my time and i want it to come out so good that and then Minty's a nail artist as well. Do you know what I mean? So she's like, she doesn't care that it takes long. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? She understands, she gets it. Okay, so thank you guys for watching um, the video. If you are going through the motion of this video, I love you guys. Drop a like and let me know that you watched the video fully. And if not, and you hear this section by chance, let me know that you just skipped through. It's okay. I just want to know um, what you guys like to see basically um yeah i'm trying to like you know figure out where to place my videos and what length of time but hello can you please peep these nails right now hello like we were making this up um and she chose that glitter along with the starry glitter that i'm just adding in oh it came out so bomb and then what happened is actually when i add the clear right at the end it wasn't as clear as i wanted it to be i know acrylic would have aced it but because i used this um poly gel um it says clear but it didn't come out like crystal clear the way i wanted it so be mindful of what poly gel you're buying if it's not like a1 graded poly gel from a brand that you've heard of inside and out then be warned that the colors might not be as described okay and that also happened to a nude i have uh it looked a bit nude and then when i actually saw it i was like oh it's kind of not nude it was just like a dense brown but yes um so i'm adding the clear now and i go ahead and just cap all the nails to make them nice and thick and then we go in with the filing process which wasn't as bad as i thought it would be i do just want to let you guys know sorry that was me itching my leg but anyway yes i do want to let you guys know that as a beginner you don't need everything straight away um i was just extra and i wanted to do like a nail haul video so i can just go for it and i don't get to a point where i'm like oh i want this oh i want that but if you just want to do your nails for yourself for at home and everyday purposes you don't need everything honestly i've even told my sister she can just buy some builder gel some nail forms and a nail file guys builder gel nail forms nail file maybe actually yes i do recommend dehydrator and primer as well and the base coat so let's do this again primer dehydrator nail file base coat builder gel and nail forms okay honestly if you had those um you can do your nails basically you can go for it you can do your nails so yeah you don't have to have all the extras and this video just proves that you can end up with really really beautiful nails as long as you are using poly gel or a softer substance like builder gel 
um, that you will be filing later, okay? Because acrylic is really dense. And if I was to have done these nails with acrylic, filing them by hand, I think my hand would have fell off, okay? And I've already got, my wrist is already just a pain. So yes, poly gel is just a lot easier to work with. It's really light and you can feel it in your end result. Your hands don't feel as weighed down as they do with acrylic. And I know um, if you're used to having acrylic, you have no idea what I'm talking about, or maybe you do. But when you do a changeover into poly gel, you will absolutely know what I'm talking about. Okay, um, it's just a lot easier to work with. So here we are onto the filing and again I'm just going to show you one hand. Honestly, <laughs> when I done this in real life, wow, real life, you know, obviously. Yeah, when I done this, I heard that sound like duh, duh, duh. Like, you know, that sound that they put in cartoons, like when a moment of realizations happened or something. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know if I like executed it correctly, but if you know what I'm saying, thank the Lord, okay? Because it just sounded terrible when I did it. But I was for real dreading it and only after I got through with the pinky, I realized how easy it was going to be. Um, I have filed down poly gel before, but not on like a full set, like on two hands and especially for someone else, you know, um, you do get a bit more of that, like it has to be perfect feeling when you're working with other people. So, you know, the poly gel just helped so much. So as I'm filing now, guys, I'm going to pop on some tunes for you. Hope you enjoy. And yeah, I would say though, if you're a beginner and um, you don't have an e-file, maybe just have a look through a little bit of the filing just to see how I do it. Um, but it's, you know, it's something you get used to. At first, I didn't think I filed um, to a state where I liked it. But now I can honestly say I'm filing to a place where I feel good inside, okay? It's a mosh, it's a mosh, okay? Hashtag mosh. But again, for those of you that do want to skip to after the filing process, feel free. And I'm just going to pop on some music for those of you that want to watch. i
Okay guys, so after I'm done with the filing, I go ahead and remove all the dust with my beautiful rose brush. Again, you can find a lot of these products on the Boutique by Astrid website, um, along with some jewelry. I will be condensing my inventory. So I'm now only going to hold jewelry and nail art, okay? It was giving me a headache doing multiple things. So if you go back on the website and you realize that like so much has changed, that's why, okay? But yes, for those of you that do want a lot of these products, just have a browse through the nail salon. I will be organizing it to um, categories just to make it easier for you guys. Nail art, tips, tools, you know, things like that. But yes, we move on to the gemming, which I love, oh my gosh. The other thumb, the lilac. <laughs> It's on the entire thumb, okay? And it looks so freaking cute. I was dying when I saw that thumb, but this one is equally as cute. Okay, baby pink, who's gonna hate? And the shape. Guys, can you please just peep the shape? Can you see the side profile of the other nails as well? Like the apex and everything came out pristine. Like I was loving it. Honestly, I... I, I have so many proud moments. I can't even talk. Okay. I feel like I'm on the pal call. For those of you that Portuguese know, I'm on stage right now and I'm like, I just want to say thanks to my mum and to the Lord and to my nail farm. Okay. No, but seriously, like, I freaking worked hard for these nails and they came out so cute. Um, so I know I'm blowing my own horn here, but hats off to me. Okay, sometimes you have to blow your own horn and be proud of yourself. It's okay. Okay, so while we were doing the gemming, um, I was forever like, do you want some of this? Do you want some of that? Do you want some of this? And she ended up going with <laughs> butterfly decals, bless her soul. Um, and they came out so perfect. The creepy thing was, I put that one butterfly decal down and she was pointing to the other one like it should go right here so that's what she's doing right now it should go right here and honestly i just placed it down <laughs> and dear lord it came out so perfect like it was in the right like they were look at this guys i literally just placed it down and it was like on point like i don't even know how that happened that was just so creepy but yeah um i then go on and top coat everything and give her some cuticle oil and geez oh like i wish i'd done these nails on myself <laughs> but yeah i will be taking inspiration and doing these nails again maybe um but yes guys thank you so much for watching honestly i don't even know like one of the last comments i got i have to pop it up on the screen Boop. this comment made my day like honestly you guys just letting me know how you feel i don't even care what it's about like you can tell me you're having a shitty day oops sorry i don't even know if i'm allowed to say that i don't even know if i'm gonna have to bleep it out or something it's okay i do put that the video is not for kids but anyway I honestly, I'm like so sensitive to what you guys say. Um, so please don't come at me for anything crazy. But if you do, it's okay. I'm actually tougher than I think. But no, like honestly, when you guys drop comments, it just, it warms my soul. It really, really does. Um, so feel free to just let go in the chat comment and let's be a beautiful you know family on my channel guys comment reply to other people like other people's comments you know let's make this a whole you know cute thing uh, let's do it uh. <laughs> but yes no guys look at this thumb oh! Okay, now I'm actually dying. After all the nails are said and done, you add some oh, cuticle oil that just makes them feel fresh. And guys, can you please be witnesses to the beauty of which was created? Okay, I can't. They came out so cute. Okay, the thumbs, the thumbs, guys. Oh, 
I'm so excited I shook the camera like okay she knows I'm a freak so yeah it is what it is but yes thank you so much Minty for allowing me to do your nails I love you girl oh and guys you already know I adore <laughs>